humans, I'm you, Schiller, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm ready to get wild! I'm ready to breathe! It's Breath of the Wild! Oh! Anyway, you might notice that behind me is a giant castle, and in the previous parts I went in that castle. It's also worth pointing out that there's a giant blood moon behind me. So I picked a very unfortunate time to actually begin this video, but that's okay. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. I can take out these guardians, gather their, their remains, and then have the blood moon bring them back to life so I can do the process all over again. However, the, the main problem is that I might die along the way. So that would be very inconvenient. So for now, I just have to make sure that I don't die, and so far, I've seemed to be doing a decent job at that. So here we go, I'll go ahead and collect all of these, thank you. Okay, I'll take that. And hey, was there another guardian nearby? Because I swear I saw another laser pointing at me and I'm ready to take you on! There you are. I see you! Don't think you can get away from me! I uh, enough Keith is gonna save you. Alright, maybe they will, because when the blood moon hits, those keys are going to come back to life. So I'll go ahead and take those key swings now, for later, when I need to fight them again. I can take their key swings once more! But I'm mainly going after this guardian. Come here, guardian. I thought your goal was to kill me. Why are you doing everything but killing me? I mean, I'm glad that you're not killing me. Don't get me wrong. It is nice to be alive! What a nice night for us slashing, huh? Oh, hang on a second. I can't slash you if I don't have a weapon. Um, maybe I don't need to slash you. Maybe I need to smash you. There we go. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? You need to stick around. Don't worry. I'm making your life easier. You can work in place. Oh! Destroy all these enemies so that when the blood moon strikes, they'll all come back to life. Isn't it smart? There we go. Give me all these. Give me all these. I actually have room in my inventory now. Wait, Guardian! You're taking too long! The Blood Moon's about to happen! No! Ah! Ah, I was too slow. The Blood Moon rises once again. Please be careful. So will it heal this guardian that I'm fighting on the spot? That's a no. Which I guess is both good and bad. Oh, but it did bring some other enemies back to life that I didn't think I'd have to deal with. Hang on a second. Hang on, I'm not ready. I guess... Ah, oh, I'm ready now! How do you like that? How do you like that? You should have waited a second! Alright, here we go. I'll take all of these. No. Oh. And I'm gonna go ahead and TAKE YOUR LIFE! Yeah, the blood moon just happened, so it's gonna be a little while before you come back into the fray, huh? Okay, I'll take these. Thank you. And now to actually finish this objective, I have to go back to where the other guardian was and fight that guardian again and take its remains. Again! Hooray! It's also occurred to me that I haven't addressed what I actually wanted to do in this part, and I promise you it's not just gonna be fighting these same guardians over and over. I'm gonna fight this guardian, and then I shall go ahead and explain what I plan to do in this part. I guess while I fight this guardian, I can go ahead and explain what I did in the previous part, because man, I barely did that too. This part is just off to a rough start, guys. But how about this? Let me redo my intro! I gotta get out of your line of sight first. Woo! Nope, that was directly right in your line of sight. Let me hide behind this for a second. Whew. Okay. Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the previous part, I went over to Hyrule Castle and found a memory point, and now, in this part, I plan to go ahead and look for another memory point, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the last memory point that I need before I finish finding all of them! There you go. How about that for an intro? And we're only 4 minutes and 30 seconds into the video and I've hardly done a thing that's been no what no no while noteworthy worthwhile. Ugh, I can't speak. Well, okay. How about this? On the road of doing things that haven't really been note while. Ugh, can't even believe I dared to call that a word. I'm going to go ahead and take on this guardian too. Or guardian 3 because it's the third guardian that I'm fighting in this quick little spree. Here we are at the Hyrule 
Garrison ruins! Okay, hang on. I got plenty of other weapons. Plenty of them. Some strong not, and some not so strong, but I'm gonna use all sorts of weapons to take you out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts. Actually, no, I'm not really a peanut guy. How about some popcorn and some Cracker Jacks? And I don't care if I ever get back for its root, root, root for the lanky! <laughs> How do you like that for a pitch? You just throw the bat at somebody. And if I don't win, it's a shame because it's one, two, three guardians out and that is the whole Switch game. How do you like that song and dance number, huh? How do you like this dancing? How do you like this, huh? How do you like where this part is going? Because I have no idea how I can even explain myself right now. How does that sound, huh? Thank you. This all this all seems great. Thank you. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I've been wandering around for a while now, and I do have an objective that I want to try and clear in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this treasure chest out. And then I'm going to focus on the main task that I wanted to do at hand before I realized that there was a blood moon spawning behind me. 50 rupees, that's fantastic. I will gladly take that. Thank you. Okay, so I have one memory point remaining, and if I'm not mistaken chronologically, it should be the last one, right? Because it's the 12th one, and it's in some random forest-like location. Now, in contrast to the other memories that I've seen so far, or at least the pictures I've found, I don't really recognize where this is. I found most of these memories by accident, but even then there's usually something like the Hyrule Castle in the background or something. But these are just trees. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few different marks on here. Where there are trees. Where there are trees that look like they would be in the Hyrule Plains area. And I'm going to see if one of these locations that I just marked will have the memory point that I am looking for. And that was supposed to be the intention of this part. Not me running around grabbing treasure chests and fighting guardians. No. The intention of this part was for me to find, or at least try to find, and hopefully find, the 12th and final memory point location. So, I am going to try to do that. And hopefully, it won't take too long to do so. Hopefully, at least one of these marks that I put on the map is correct, and hopefully, I can find... <laughs> <coughs> Hopefully I can find everything that I'm looking for. Okay? We're good. Let's make this a fun Breath of the Wild part. That is the goal. I don't want to just randomly run around and show random bits of gameplay and count it as a walkthrough part. Darn it! This is the walkthrough! I need to show how to do things in this game. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do things. I'm going to show how to do things. And then I'm going to upload it. Or I'm going to edit it. I'm going to condense it down into a sizable part that's watchable and enjoyable to some extent and then I'll go ahead and upload it and hope that people enjoy it and if they do enjoy it maybe you folks will leave a comment and then we can have some sort of interaction going gone in the in the comment section and I can respond to your lovely comments and be like hey thank you so much for your comment your continued support means so much to me which it does but that's probably the conversation that will go down so if you want to show me your continued support, and if you want me to comment about how much I love your continued support, I will do that. For now, I am fighting choo-choos. And I will find this memory location, which does not seem to be in this forest. This forest is a bit too, how you say, open. It's kind of looking at a downhill approach. Whereas the picture kind of made it seem like there were hills beside it, not on, not that the location itself was on a hill. So, that's where this blue mark comes in, as it's the next closest mark that I have set. So, onward toward the blue mark! Let's do this! Let's go toward this blue mark! Oh, another guardian! Gee, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, well, with that ability back in play, it might actually be time. But I'll go ahead and skip it for now. I don't know that it's necessarily worth fighting you. Alright, let's do this. Hiya! There you go. 
bomb arrow to the lonesome eye that you have. Let's just knock you out real quickly. May as well. Let's make this a thing. Yeah. Now you really can't see. There you go. There you go. Cutting you in slow motion because so much stuff is going on. All right. I got my Master Sword back. Master Sword's back. Master Sword's back, baby. Master Sword is back. Master Sword. Back. Choo-choo jelly. Everywhere. Here we go. I'm ready for this. I'm so ready for this. Are you going to actually try to fire that laser at me? Because I got this ability back. Oh, yeah. Another guardian. Defeated. Oh. There you go. I'll take all these. Thank you. Okay. I've got so many ancient springs. I, I better not ever have a problem with upgrading my guardian equipment and or purchasing guardian stuff from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab ever again. Although the main things I need are like the ancient cores and those don't get dropped as often. So I'll still have to hunt down guardians in the future. But for now, I hope that my ancient spring supply is sufficient. And if nothing else, I'll meet with Kilton again. And Kilton will, will take him off my hands. Yiga Clan! Hi! You picked a very unfortunate time to run into me. But hey, I picked a very fortunate time to run into you because I'm looking for rupees and now I have more than 500 of them. Thank you! Okay. Hey, it's one of these things. It's a Hinox. That's what they're called. Well, okay. I've already been fighting all sorts of random enemies trying to clear my objective for the day. I figure I may as well take you on as well. What? Oh, whoa, you stepping on me knocked out all those hearts. All right, I'm going to fire this bomb arrow at your eye, okay? Great. I bought all these arrows. I may as well use them. All right, there you go. You're probably going to stand back up. Great. I appreciate your, your attempt. Oh, I actually did not think that was going to go off right there, but I guess I'm glad that it did because that could have been game over for me. All right, there we go. No oh, man, that game over counter hasn't gone up in like 30 parts. I do not want this to be the battle where that happens. All right, thank you. I'll take all of these. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, roasted bird thigh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll take all these. I'll take all these. I'll take them. I'll take all of them. I'll, take, I'll bring home the meat. Okay. So, I do not need this Forest Dweller sword anymore because that was about to break. I dropped a sword when I was supposed to drop a bow. I'm sorry. Well, I definitely don't need this current bow that I'm using. I'll take the Royal Bow. Now, some of you might be wondering, Yo, Schiller, you're hanging on to weaker bows. Why? And to you, my fellow audience member who is asking such an important question, I thank you. Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, so to actually answer you, uh, I figure I want to hang on to different weapons in case I need them for some sort of side quest. That's my excuse. But if I need to drop a bow again, I'll drop something else. For now, here we are at the Sage Temple Ruins. I have absolutely no idea what could possibly be over here. But I'm over here. So let's go ahead and take a look around, huh? There's a treasure chest over here, if nothing else. But there doesn't seem to be a memory location over here. This isn't a forest anymore. Although I passed my blue mark, so I don't know. Let me see. Royal Halberd. We'll see, maybe dropping that weapon back over there wasn't such a bad idea after all. Well, hello. You seem like you want to ruin my day. So how's about I go ahead and ruin yours, huh? Just so you can see what it's like. Oh, you've already used up my Master Sword. You're asking for it, buddy. Look at all these weapons I just got that I'm so ready to use up on enemies like you. Here you go. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Ready? Oh, yeah! Hang on, hang on. I got another one. I got another one. Ready? Here you go. Oh! 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 <laughs> wow. So remember how earlier I was saying how the game over counter hasn't gone up in like 30 parts? Yeah. I really... I irony is a pain sometimes. Well, I acknowledge that it was only a matter of time before my game over counter went up again. And I understand that I can spin this into a positive in the sense that now I can confirm that I no longer have any fairies in my inventory. But I really didn't need that to happen.
but I'm glad that this is happening. I found a Korok seed. Although I will admit my intention was mainly to come up here to try and sneak attack this guy. So see, I can find things by accident like that Korok, but I can't find the thing that I'm looking for, which is a memory point. And you know what? You killing me has only delayed my discovery of it all the more because now I'm so focused on getting my revenge on you when I could be looking for this memory location. You should feel honored. You should feel honored. Okay, you defeated the high and mighty Link. You did it. And now you personally got your butt kicked, or rather smashed, by Link himself as a reward. How do you like that? I bet you don't, and that's kind of the idea. Here you go. Boom, baby! Used up my spiked Moblin Club on you. What the hey? I got a Serpentine Spear. Here you go. You know that too. I'll just use up all my weapons on you. It's fine. I just cleared up my inventory, and I gained an extra slot in the previous part. So how do you like all this? You like that? You like that? You're still alive? I appreciate that you're a worthy challenge. But at this point, I really just want you to be dead. Alright, so remember before when I said I would drop a less valuable bow? I think now is that time. I... I have the Boko Bow. I don't need the Boko Bow. I can get another Boko Bow. Okay, there we go. I've got plenty of goodies. Now, back to the matter at hand. I went over here because I thought this would be where the memory location is. And it's not. It's a forest, alright. But it's not the forest I'm looking for. So, if my mark is correct, that only leaves this location. So I can only hope that it's not too far off. Because it seems like it's in or near central Hyrule. Based on the little snippets I can see above the hill and between the tree branches. So I'm hoping that my mark over here is not far off. It's weird. This is a very weird picture. But I guess that's the idea. It's the last one, so it's supposed to be the hardest. I found all these in random order, but I've still managed to save this twelfth one for last. Kind of works out that way. Now, I found a fair share of these pictures intentionally, much like I did in the previous part when I went to Hyrule Castle. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. Or like when I found that one memory that had the dueling peaks in the background. I've, I have found plenty intentionally. But it seems like whatever I do try to find certain things intentionally, I just struggle big time. Now see, this feels more correct. But again, I don't think that the memory point that I am looking for is over here. If nothing else, maybe there's a Korok seed. I don't know, but my treasure radar is going off. And I'm near a stable, so I guess I can go ahead and... See what the treasure radar is all about. Is there a treasure chest just like sitting near the stable? I'm back at the wetland stable! Hooray! Is there a treasure chest in the water near the stable? That's what it seems to be. Well, okay, by all means, I'll go ahead and nab it real quickly. Where is it? Although, this guy has a side quest. I'll have to remember that for later. Unless your side quest is related to this treasure chest. In which case, I will kill two birds with one stone right now. Except I don't really want to kill birds, let alone with a stone. So I can accomplish two tasks with one goal. How about that? Yes, I see that strange shape down at the bottom of the river. That's a treasure chest, and that's what I want. But I can't figure out how to pitch it out of there. Yes, yes, yes. I guess I need some sort of machine or something to get it out. I'm so curious about what's inside that chest, I can't even sleep. Well... Don't worry, because I wanted this from the get-go anyway. So let's knock out this side quest real quickly, huh? If anything, if I don't find this memory point, I can at least say that I did this side quest. This one side quest that took no more than five seconds. Thank you. And see, it's a good thing that I used up all my weapons on that one Lizalfus, because now I have room for this weapon. And yeah, what was inside the treasure chest? It was a sword, and I took it. Sorry, man. What? A cool sword, you say? Whatever, I didn't really want that life-changing treasure anyway. I, I mean, swords are cool. I don't know if that one's necessarily life-changing. It's not the first time I've seen it. But there you go! Side quest complete! Yeah! I did a side quest, and now I'm getting arrows and apples! But I need to find this memory point. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I'm near a stable, aren't I? You know who's often at stables? Is Picongo. And Picongo can probably tell me where this is. 
But yeah, it looks like it's in uh, Greater Hyrule. I just don't know where that exact location is. It's just a bunch of trees, and I can't tell if I've been by it or through it before or not. But okay, I discussed the idea of seeking Picongo. Now, I feel like the forest I was in was correct before, and it could also be around here. But let me double check with Picongo. Uh, oh, you're not Picongo. I'm sorry, I saw, I saw Picongo for a second, and then I saw you chopping. But you're not, you're not Picongo. You are Picongo. Hello. They say the castle's dark. Okay, I don't, I don't need this text. I need your following text. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let me see it already. Okay, here you go. The last picture I need. Please do not tell me about a picture I've already seen. Thank you. That's for us. I get the feeling I've seen it before. Yes, yes, that's good. I can't say for certain, but I believe that may depict the forest just south of here. Yeah, that's where I was. No, wait, maybe it's the forest on the other side of the river? Northeast of the bottomless swamp. Northeast of the bottomless swamp. Okay, on the other side of the river. So I made two marks. I had the yellow mark and the green mark. Okay, northeast of the bottomless swamp. Okay, I'm on my way. <coughs> on my way. Here I go. I'm looking. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be where this yellow mark is. Or maybe not even in this forest at all. Oh, but that rock seems suspicious. A rock that's slightly out of the way and seems suspicious. That just screams Korok Seed to me. So if you don't mind, I'm going to light this whole forest on fire. And still manage to poke myself with this thorn. Just so I can go ahead and get this Korok Seed. Because I have to do it eventually anyway. Here we go. Give me that Korok. There we go. And see, now the flames are dying down. So everything was okay in the end. Thank you. Well, the Korok Seed is nice. But I really need to find this memory point location because I plan to do a bunch of Korok Seed stuff way later. One thing at a time, I guess. Finding a Korok Seed is still nice. Okay. I'm almost at the green mark. But I will see that this does seem more correct. Oh, the Wind Cleaver. There you go. Everybody's going down. All right, I've got my abilities back. You are going down. Get out of here. I chopped a tree down while I was at it. All right, I can toss that weapon. I don't need it anymore. I'll take a wind cleaver and I'll take these bananas. Thank you. Okay. I guess I may as well take you guys out since you're just going to annoy me otherwise, right? There you go. I got you. And, uh... I got all sorts of stuff going on. Okay. So, now I am over here. This is where I set my green mark previously. Before I moved my green mark. This is where I set it. Northeast of the bottomless pit, lagoon, whatever. On the other side of the river. South of the stable. That's where I am. And I don't see a memory point. Now, it's a bit harder for me to tell where it would be because now it's raining. So the weather's different than, than it was in the picture. But I will still try to keep my eyes open. And then it can't be any further than here. So what if I just follow the path along and see if it lines up with anything remotely similar with the picture. So let me go through the path as normal. Okay. I'm just a random... Oh, thank you, Rivali. I'm just a random wanderer going through here. And it's a memory. I guess I'm going through with Zelda. And we're going la di da di da Happy times! I'm with Zelda! Yeah! I found it! The memory points. Take a good long look at it, folks, because this is the twelfth and final memory points location! And I'm about to witness it. Here we go! All shut up! You folks enjoy!
divine beasts, the guardians, they've all turned against us. It was Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. And everyone, Nefa, Urbosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything, everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. Welp, that was most certainly not a happy memory. In fact, that was probably the darkest memory out of all of them. But, stuff happens, it's important to remember them, and I found the 12th and final memory location, and if it is working chronologically, then yes, that memory point does seem like it's the one that takes place the latest out of all the memory points I've seen so far. Because this one is after Calamity Ganon has struck, it is after all the characters have gone to their respective divine beasts. It is after the memory that I found in the previous part where the king was talking to Zelda, explaining that this type of thing would happen. And it's pretty dark, but I am now returning to Kakariko Village because it says that my main quest objective has been updated for me to return here, which makes sense because Impa is the one that told me to go and get these memory locations. So I will do that. Man, I've not spoken to Impa in a long time. I have also not been over here with my treasure radar active. So let me see, is there actually a treasure chest back here? Because I will... Yeah, there actually is a treasure chest back here. Man, shows you all the stuff I missed when it was blatantly near me and or technically in front of me. Well, okay, let's go ahead and fish out this treasure chest, huh? Come on over. I even flew over this darn thing because this is... Where I, I, I like, climbed up the mountains behind here. Alright. This is where I went and found Kilton again, I believe. There you go. Alright. Here we go. Equip it. Throw it. I don't need that anymore. I'll take this weapon. Thank you. Edge duality. Perfect. Alright, and you know, I'll go ahead and take this. And I think I saw over to the left there was a lily, uh, a lily pad circle. Yeah, there is! So there was a- whoops, I was supposed to dive and I screwed that up. There was a Korok seed here the entire freaking time! You know how many times I've been to Kakariko Village just to like, pray to the statue and... cash in my spirit orbs? And I missed... this... this area? I missed this Korok seed? And I'm still missing it because I can't properly dive into some lily pads? Come on. Come on. So I need- Link, I need to go back into your diving animation. Oh, Alright, come on, Link. We gotta get this Korok seed. We have to. We just have to. Okay? Here we go. Let's do this. Jump on in, Link. There we go! And then there was some sort of animal with a bunch of question marks above it, so I'm rapidly pressing A so as to be able to pick up this animal as quickly as possible. Sanke Carp! Thank you! Okay. Now, let's go ahead and discuss things with Impa. Let's see what she has to say now that I've remembered everything! Impa, I've taken on all the shrines and I found all the main... Or I found all the memory points in the game. What do you have for me now? Well, well, well. You've returned. What is it? No. All 12 pictures already? You visited every place? 
Well, it, but it took me 81 parts, and it's almost been a year since this game came out, but okay. Hmm, then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. There was another one? Okay, oh, maybe you did mention that there was another one. Okay. Here is what's happened. Or maybe I should do that more dramatically. Here is what's happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to show you this. One more memory. This is the final picture. Oh, yeah. That does look familiar. Where did I... S I saw this on my way to the Hateno village. Because I went there on foot with my horse. And I rode through all these guardians. And there was a wall there. There was a guy on the other side of the wall. and That's where it is. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go ahead and visit this memory location in this part. I shall save that for the next part. Yeah, no picture in my map. Or in my Hyrule Compendium. I just had this to look at. Well, that's fine. Like I said, I'll be visiting this place in the next part for the 13th and true final memory of the game. So, folks, that wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I showcase what finding these 12 memory, lo memory point locations will do for me. And I'll show you what the 13th and secret and true and final memory points will bring. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe icon underneath the video. Be sure to click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is out. Also, one of the best ways to support me is to follow me on Twitter. On there, you can see announcements, updates, and previews for all of my upcoming content. My tag is at Ryu Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Whoosh!